What is up guys, you guys are listening to The Time Played and I'm here going to show you how to use the Golden Spork efficiently and I'm going to give you some trivia on it and uh, some, some interesting facts on it and how to even get the Golden Spork. Instead of watching those 10 minute videos on how to get the Golden Spork, I'll tell you right here in about a minute. First, what you want to do is there's a jail cell near the warden's office and uh, it, sh it has a poster in it and you could either throw a grenade or you could throw the Hell's Retriever at that poster. You do not need to have the Hell's Retriever to do this. Um, you go into afterlife mode and then um, you go behind the jail cell and you then zap the, the spoon you see lying on the ground in a really big crack. You zap that spoon, then you go and revive yourself, and this will be step two. You go to the cafeteria, and you you then need a Hell's Retriever. You throw your Hell's Retriever at the, at the spoon lying in uh, on the table in the back of the cafeteria. And then you will receive a spoon, and that will be a temporary melee weapon. Um, it is as strong as the Galvin Knuckles, but I'll get into that later. Then after you have the spoon, you go upstairs, go to the bathtub, and the bathtub that's sitting alone by itself, you hold square, and it will then take your spoon, and it'll start stirring in the bathtub. You do have to wait a while. I believe it's one, I waited one round. The next round, you go back to that bathtub, and you hold down square, and there's going to be a hand that comes out of the bathtub with a golden spork. You then hold down square, and you then receive the golden spork. Um, I don't recommend doing this uh, during the middle of a round because zombies will get in the way. Um, it's one of those things like the gondola, you have to wait for it, you can't grab it and go like buying a gun off the wall. Um, some trivia on the Golden Spork. The Golden Spork is equivalent to 6.3 galvanized knuckles. This then makes it a one hit kill all the way to round 34. So the golden spork is going to be a one hit kill till round 34. That is a high round guys. I don't even know if most of you have even made it to that round. I haven't yet. I'm still new to this mob of the dead. But I am getting there. I already know pretty much everything. And I'm waiting for that one. One day I have to, to do a single player in mob of the dead. So. Also the golden spork is the only cutlery in the whole Call of Duty series that can be equipped. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and um, uh, the the silver the silver spoon that you receive in the cafeteria that, like I said, is as strong as galvanized knuckles, which I believe galvanized knuckles lasted until about round 15 before they were two hit kills. I think I'm not quite sure on that. Um, so that makes the spoon last till about round 15 before it's a two hit kill. So unless you're doing this like at 16, 18, 20, whatever. Um, you still have a one hit kill with that spoon. So the, the golden spork is a really really strong weapon but let's get to uh, what this video is about and how I use my golden spork. First round 23 um, I'm ra running around at the bridge um, I just I just like the bridge uh, the most um, I think it's real easy usually a lot of people like to run trains at the cafeteria or like at uh, the docks. The docks is really hard to run trains at. Um, I'm running them here at the the bridge. And uh, here I am, I'm gonna use a golden spork to take out this whole train and more actually. So first thing you wanna do, uh, I'm doing this because I'm thinking in essence you're out of ammo, you're out of grenades, you're out of everything. Which really never happens to me because I never prepare myself to be run out of everything. But um, in Mob of the Dead, you have that upgraded uh, Hell's Retriever and you have the Golden Spork. You're, you pretty much don't need to even use ammo. Like really, like you, could, you'll, you will see me take out this whole train. So I'm see how I break them up using the crates and the barrels. I'm breaking the train up. Um, so if there's an object in the way, which most likely there is because unless you're in Call of the Dead or Transit, there's never going to be an open space, a really big open space. So um, use any objects, going upstairs even, going uh, uh, the gondola, whatever. Um, use any object you have to break the, the train up because that's the only way you're going to be able to get through this. If you just go and knife 
you go and knife a big crowd of zombies, then you could you could put yourself in big trouble, and that's a really risky task. So as you saw, I broke them up, and um, I was able to take them out one by one. Now with the golden spork, it's not really hard. I mean, even with the galvan knuckles, if they're in round 15, um, same thing. But that's that's not on this map. Uh, so I'm taking them all out one by one at a time and I believe in an eye for an eye. and uh, it's it's just uh, a strategy mostly I mean you you have to do it and as at the reach on the golden sport is is 64 inches which is a pretty long reach because I don't know if you can notice but I could knife them pretty far away and they will they they will fall they will die and um, it doesn't have to be right in your face you can knife them pretty far away and um something i like that i don't know if it's just uh part of my game or whatever but uh i never really uh when you knife in your body your whole character jumps towards the zombie that doesn't really happen to me with the golden spork so as you saw i took out the whole group of zombies with using the golden spork only um i'm here at the the bridge you know thumbs this video up if you liked it and let me know what you guys think and uh, hopefully I'll come with more strategies and more tips and tricks on how to use the golden spork or maybe I could uh, do one on the hell's retriever thank you guys for watching